youngest world champion in the history of the PBR, but for many, they believe it starts here in T-Town. Yeah, such a cool stat that, you know, so many guys have won this event, went on and won the world title. That is a big time deal. And so you know that every one of these guys nodding their head here that's in that race wants to win this event. Well, and speaking of being in that race, this man, two years removed from his world title, is in the heart of that world title race. He now finds himself in the number three position, Chase and Chase Outlaw and Jose Vitor Lemmy. But tonight, it's all about Uncle Gangster. Yeah, and this is such a great bull, and I really like this draw. This is J.W. Hart's bull. Uh, I'm a gangster's son and should turn back right there. He'll go either way, but a lot of times he likes to ride. You notice who's on the back of the buck and shoots helping him? Chase Outlaw, the number one man in the world. Lockwood calls for him. Around to the left, Lockwood has a great seat. He dominates the final moments of this ride. Lockwood sticks the landing, and listen to the crowd here in Tulsa. This is a bull that's only been ridden six times, been out 18. This is a bull that'll go either way, like I said, but man, did he mess up tonight and go into Jess Lockwood's hand. That right there, that is, uh, that's a problem area for any bull that has Jess Lockwood on their back. Lockwood dominating here tonight. If you've been watching at home on Ride Pass, you know that Dalton Castle is the leader with 88 and three quarter points. That's what Lockwood would need to take over that top spot. But tonight it is 88.5, 88 and a half for Lockwood aboard Uncle Gangster. And that is a young man that has a sight set on a second gold buckle. He is on a mission and, you know, look, this is not going to stop him. He knows exactly what he has to do to be able to get there. He is catching his breath and Lockwood, you've got to believe, is thinking about that second world championship. Could this be the beginning of a charge to a second gold buckle? Lockwood seems to be in line to do so. Speaking of Lockwood, he joins us here at the Ride Pass desk. And Jess, that's a great way to start your weekend, my friend. That's a great way. Now, uh, let's go have a slumber party at your place. I'm staying with you tonight. Not you too far from the house. No, you live real close. I stayed with you last year and it worked, so let's do it again. There you go. It worked in 2017. You won in Tulsa. You won a world title. Let's watch this and enjoy it one more time. Is that okay? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's take a look. Uncle Gangster, let's turn around and a great ride to get you on the board here tonight. Talk us through. Um, this bull usually goes right there to the right, so when he went left, it honestly kind of surprised me, and he kept sitting me down on my butt. I was kind of been a little tired and lazy today, but uh, I got aggressive with my outside foot and finished it, and it worked out good, and I made it easy to get on the next one by stepping off on my feet right here. There you go. Well, a great start to the weekend. We've seen you in here before. Obviously, you're having fun in Tulsa. Oh, well, you can't beat this place. First one back, and we're fired up when we get to come back and break. There you go. Well, there's a lot of fans watching at home right now. They're certainly excited to see you back in business. Good luck the rest of the weekend. Thank you, guys. There you go. Yeah, good job. Jeff